What is going on guys? Crazy Nasty. And today we are playing some Modern Warfare 3 again. And yeah. PP90 Red Dot. That's all I know about this video. And I do know one thing. It does have a 5KD in there somewhere. So let's get into it. Day 11. London Olympics. Well, you know, I've been keeping up with the medal count and uh we're slacking guys we have fallen six behind China we got 67 they got 73 Great Britain's got 48 so we're probably not gonna get past but I would love to finish in first place you know so with that being said Team USA they played again they played Argentina and of course you know What's American basketball without their brawls? Well, it was a brawl that never happened, but it could have. Because apparently Carmelo Anthony uh, took a cheap shot to the groin by one of the uh, Argentinian players. And then, you know, I heard, you know, there's a screaming match involved between U.S. and Argentina. And, uh, well, anyway, the U.S. ended up coming out on top. 126 97. Apparently, it was a close game in the first half. Um, but then the United States broke it open in the second half and uh, completely destroyed them. I mean, not world record destroyed them, but destroyed them, anyways. And then Usain Bolt, he's apparently getting a tryout to uh, play for Manchester United. Didn't realize he was a soccer player. But he is, he, you know, he would be one fast fucking soccer player. That's all I can tell you. I mean, if he can get in the ball, he can probably break away from everybody else if he can uh, keep some ball control there. Probably outrun the fucking ball. But. And then to American football. I didn't think I'd be saying this, but Terrell Owens. He apparently agreed to terms with uh, the Seattle Seahawks. They gave him a tryout. He is actually 38 years old, and I didn't think he'd be playing in the NFL this year. But, I don't think, no, he, he didn't play at all last year. I do not believe. I do not remember him. Oh, sat out with an injury. But, um, yeah. I don't even think he's making a million dollars this year. I think his contract's for, like, a little over $900,000, which he probably has to pay for child support. So he's basically playing for nothing this year. And uh, this could be it for him. I'm even surprised that uh, Seattle picked him up. But we're going to have to wait and see. You know, he's still, you know, fast. He's in still pretty good shape. So I do think he will do very well. Um, I do not know off the top of my head who the Seattle Seahawks have for a quarterback this year. Um, I would throw a name out there, but I'm probably wrong. So I'm not even going to bother. And I'm not seeing it here real quick as I scan through this little article. But he is definitely going to give the Seahawks some depth at the wide receiver slot. So congrats to him. He finally got his job back. Well, a job back. And uh, hopefully he can stay clear of the legal battles with his child support. And he can uh, hopefully you know, play a couple more years. I know he does have a, a case of the oops, I dropped it. But hopefully he'll overcome that. And then really quick, I guess uh, some athletes from Cameroon 7 are missing. They went missing from the Olympic Village. So I do not know what the hell is going on with that. Five boxers, a swimmer, and a soccer player are all missing. And they have not returned. They probably went home. They probably said, we're not going to win a medal. What's the point of being here? We're going home. Because, I don't know, does Cameroon even have a medal? It's a good question. But, anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, what is that, 20 and 4? Anyways, have a good day.